Sid, what do we have coming up? Okay, Sid? Hello? Sid? Uh, looks like... Sid? I think... I think someone found my shuttle. I can hear. Oh, great. I think I gotta... Oh, no! Sid! Sid, come in! Great. They Secondary found objective. Why'd you have to go be the hero, Sid? Stupid, so stupid. So she stupid. was brave. There's still time. Sid's leverage. They won't kill her just yet. We just have to be quick. You're right. I think I can trace Sid's signal. Should take us to her. No time to waste, but we have to be careful. They have my sister. So no advantage in the next room, I suppose. Jesus. That turret is tough. I love Vetra's armor. There we go. You're the one that's been killing my people. I didn't. I didn't kill anyone. One. I don't even know how to shoot a gun. You want your rat, Vetra Nix? You come to me. Help! Okay. Yeah. Come to her then. Is this a loot crate? No. Just looks like one. Okay, okay. Um, moving forward then, I guess. Get the Sid. And she's just in our way again. I thought she put her su shuttle somewhere su secluded. Somewhere where nobody was gonna find her. Okay, that looks... Ha! <laughs> yep, just face through the door. Oh, hi Sid. Think carefully about your next move. Oh, she's holding a grenade. That explodes. It takes you out too. You won't let that happen. She's shaking a bit. Tetra. It's going to be okay. We're gonna get you out of this. Okay. What do you want? Okay. We're talking. Now what? Put your weapons on the ground. Um. Seriously? I have a biotic knife by which I can teleport, so I could take her out. Oh god. Mm, I'm not gonna shoot. I'm not gonna shoot. Whoo, I almost pulled that trigger. So this is what you're all about? Kidnapping? Threatening children? That's what you came to Helios for? You can still do what's right. Turn off the explosive. There's no right or wrong anymore. Just survival. <sighs> okay. Sid, get down! Stay down! Oh, Jesus I Christ! Anyone get to her? Don't you worry. Oh. I see him. There we go. Sword strike to the face. Oh, that's a hologram. That one is distracted with my, uh... Oh shit! Okay, that one's gonna die! There we go. Jesus. There we go. And that one's down as well. Seven bullets left. Eight bullets left. Let's get Remy back. Is that? That's not him, right? No. Let's go full Monty. Oh, that was not a good idea. That was not a good idea. 
Duck. Okay. I'm playing on hardcore. Don't forget that. Ever. Why the hell did I take damage? I... I'm fine. I think. Okay, that's good. Let's get you to your shuttle. Whew. So wait, this was her shuttle? That's not hidden, Sid. That is not hidden at all. Um, is there ammo in this place? Ammo and health, thank you very much. Now, where do we need to go? Back, apparently. Oh, no, why is Sid on a box? Sid, why are you on the box? Are you all right? Are you hurt? I... I think I'm okay. Help's on the way. We're all good, thanks to you. Great! I didn't mean for any of this. I'm sorry, okay? You should have listened to your sister. You can't just mess around with people from Kadara. They're dangerous. I just... These guys wanted to start over, not be exiles anymore. No one else was giving them a chance, so I thought... I can do that. I can help. She could help. I, I kind of feel like she did the right thing. These are good people who made bad choices. Your sister did the right thing. She still should have talked to me. I don't want you hurt. There are ugly sides to what I do, and you shouldn't have to deal with them. You started out when you were my age, and you managed okay? That wasn't by choice. You saw what we did here. This isn't all fun and games, Sid. Yeah, I was shocked at first, but I understand now, and I can handle it. I don't want you to have to. Whatever. I'm going back to the Nexus, like you want it. Oh, take it easy, guys. Come on. Reason with her. Sounds like you're going to need a long talk. Before I even attempt to talk, she'll need some time to think. We both do. Hey, at least the settlers are safe. Thanks there for helping go. me out with this rider. Can we just get moving now? We can. Glad I could help, Fetra. A helping hand. There we go. Another loyalty mission completed. Okay, loyalty earned. Rider has earned Vetra's loyalty. Vetra's rank 6 skills are now unlocked. And I did level up a bit, so I might actually check that out. There we go. You okay? Fine. Just the old plumbing acting up. Even most of my guts are synthetic. I'd get them replaced, but the warranty's probably no good out here. Yeah, I don't think so, because they're over 600 years old, but uh... Yeah, I'm gonna head back to the Tempest. And we'll uh, start our next mission. Okay, John there we go. Said he wanted to see you. Yeah, indeed. Because I think we have another loyalty mission coming up with Jal, in fact. So uh, let's check the journal really quickly. And let's talk to Jal. I need to speak to the Moshai on the Aya. Hey, to start uh, you in the med bay? another quest for Jal. I think his loyalty quest. But Jal wants to talk to me anyway. Hey, Jal. <laughs> Didn't mean okay. to scare you. Okay. What? Uh, I'm I'm not scared. Uh, one second. What's okay, going on then? here? You look busy. If I'm busy, my mind is occupied with whatever I'm working on, uh, rather than worrying. Okay. I can see how that help. Uh, I'd like your advice on something. Talk I'm to me. I'm making gifts for everyone. I have a list. Gifts. Mm. Okay. Do Turians like poetry? For Vetra, I'm writing a poem and engraving it on... Uh, well, I, I'm not sure yet. Huh. Well, take the risk. Who doesn't like a personalized poem? Ah, great. <laughs> Maybe I could just recite it for her. Make sure I'm there for that. Yeah, indeed, because I want to see that. Um, seems to like my Rothjin. I might sew him one. He does. Do Krogan like knives? I could craft a ceremonial Angaran dagger for Drac. Sounds amazing. Who wouldn't want that? It's mainly decorative. Would you like one? Jal, this is a lot of work. What's really going on? I'm sure that I seem confident and skilled to you, but I'm not. Or... I don't feel like I am. 
I'm not gonna go with romancing uh, jaw because I have a lot of those going on. Because uh, that's actually the first time that's a romance option and not just that buddy buddy uh, option. I know how you feel. I feel like that a lot. <laughs> Good to know. Yes, thanks for sharing that. Just be yourself. My family is well known. Our lineage is respected. And many of my kin have achieved great things. I've never been one of them. So many older siblings and cousins who succeeded at everything. I stopped trying to keep up. Right. Thanks for listening. Yeah, because that's pretty much all we did. We listened. We didn't really say any uh, much. Um, you're going to do great things. You're part of this team. You're going to do great things. You're not in anyone's shadow here. I believe in you. Okay, there we go. A little pep talk for Jal. Anybody else who needs my attention? I think Lexi said she wanted to talk. So Lexi is in the met bay, which should be downstairs. I think. There we go, slowly sliding down. Why do I need to scan something at this time? What? Ah, there we go. Hmm, crumbs on the deck. You found them too? I think something's eating our stores. Okay, the visitor, hold the track. Follow the grum tr the cr the grum trail. Follow the grum trail, the crumb trail. Where are these breadcrumbs? Because I don't see any other breadcrumbs around this place, so... Let's just talk to Lexi while we're at it. Hello, Lexi. Oh, don't... Everything that was right? really close. Oh, yes. PB and I were just... having a debate. Isn't that progress? Better than her avoiding you, right? I guess. Ryder, do you think I'm uptight? I... Yeah? No, never mind. Don't answer that. Let's just... talk about something else. What? Wait, what? Did you want to talk to me? Um, memory fragments. I need to talk to you about something private. Of course. That's what I'm here for. When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory. Things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Maybe. I found this trigger. It unlocked a memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel. From when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI. And he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? It probably was a turning point for him. It was where his journey to Andromeda really began. Those events started your family down a new path. Yeah. Thanks, Lexi. Feels good to talk about this. We didn't talk about it. That was horribly written, but yeah. I'll let you home. get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Who has an animal on this spaceship? Where are the breadcrumbs? And I can actually talk to Vetra as well, so maybe let's do that. Damn it, Sid. What's going on? I get influence with power players, only to have it squandered by a sister calling in favors under my name. Do you know she got the genome for... Oh, what is it? Cats. Pulled from storage. One, there's no place to grow anything right now. Two, it seems they aren't even a food. So why? They aren't even a food. Cats are fun. <laughs> Yeah, cats are fun. Lots of people love cats. They make them happy. I don't think we're in a position to put amusement over necessities. She just doesn't think. Tries to help everyone. Damn the consequences. And she thinks what we do is so exciting, but doesn't really understand what it takes. That's actually really funny, because a lot of people think Turians sound and look a bit like cats. Um... Because you hide it from her, yeah. How can she, when you keep trying to shield her from your work? I just... didn't want her to grow up before she had to. Like I did. She's shown she's ready. Trust that. You can't protect her forever. But what if she gets herself into another mess? What if she gets hurt? I'm here for you both. Whatever happens, I'm here for the both of you. I care about Sid. Because I care about you. Ryder, I... I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. How about I let you get back to work? That was an interesting walking back animation. Yeah, um... Breadcrumbs. Where's this animal? 
Ah, breadcrumbs. Cereal crumbs, lots of them. So, I do know of one person who likes to eat those, and there's the next batch. More crumbs going where? Um, either in Liam's direction? Yeah, okay. Something's nesting here. Something that likes cereal. I wonder. We've probably got materials to build a humane trap and catch it. Okay, build a trap at the research center. That is an interesting <laughs> development. Okay then, here we go. So, the research center. Let's check it. <laughs> probably never been used to uh, make traps. Um, quest items. Humane trap. Three aluminium. Here we go, craft. Humane trap. Okay, now place the trap at the creature's lair. Ooh, the creature's lair. Let's put down the trap. One trap ready for a visitor. I'll leave it and see what we get. Wait for the trap to spring. Okay. Anybody else? I need. I need to talk to. Did that close already? No. Okay, since it doesn't really spring the trap immediately, uh, I'm just going to head towards the Nexus, because uh, I think I want to check out that memory we unlocked. Never really did that. There we go, and I'll see you guys back at the Nexus. I would like to welcome our Asari pilgrims to the Nexus. Oh, there we go. We've had a long journey, but we're thrilled that Ark Lucinia has finally arrived. We ask for patience as we find homes for everyone. To those who doubted the future, the proof stands before you. The Asari live, and so does the dream. Thank you, Director Tan, I suppose. Ah, there's the hero who made it possible, Pathfinder Rider. Stop Do you yelling. you have any words for us? Um, hmm. There were complications just doing my job or getting the hang of it. Yeah, that sounds like a good uh, opinion. I'd like to think my team and I are hitting our stride. We're getting pretty good at this. A confident Pathfinder. <laughs> exactly what we need. We chose well with this one. We all owe Ryder a debt of gratitude. In the meantime, please enjoy whatever comforts the Nexus can offer a weary traveler. Excuse me. Okay, hi. You're the one who saved us? Y I am. Yeah, kinda. I owe you everything. If it hadn't been for you, I'd be dead. We all would. Now huh. we have a future. Stay vigilant. Just don't let your guard down. We're in the wilderness here. We can tame it, but it will fight back. Wait till it meets the Asari. Yeah, indeed, because the Asari are a formidable people. Okay. Apply for an outpost? So that was good. So I'm going to head towards the... Uh, the Sam, the, the next, not the Sam Nexus, the Sam, Sam, Sam node, Sam node, I think it's called. So I guess I'll see you guys over there in a second. So back in the habitation deck where uh, most of this actually started. Uh, we're going back inside of the Hyperion and uh, right into Sam node and see what other memory we can check out. So here we go. Hello, Sam. Long time no see. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Yeah, play the memory. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated adaptive matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. 
Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Helen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Humor algorithms. A joke? The hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? <laughs> that was interesting. That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Yeah, and Dad needed to hear that. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Okay, Sam, thank you. That's all for now. Of course. And see you next time. So there are all the audio fragments available in his quarters. Let's take a look. Um, archive systems, audio excerpt. I am Dr. Liara. No. Yeah, so okay. Your father's personal logs. Okay. Encrypted log 3. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. Ah, okay, so it's the SAM development that I've unlocked. Here we go. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. <laughs> okay, the Geth mistake. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. And that was Alec trying to uh, gather a bit of opinions about AI since he created another one. Ryder, Parlebon says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. That doesn't sound like Liara, because when we defeated the Shadow Broker in Mass Effect 2, I think, in the DLC, we uh, put Liara in charge instead of... Uh, might have actually been Mass Effect 3, I'm not really sure. No, pretty sure it's Mass Effect 2. Um, but that didn't sound like Liara, so that might have been the old Shadow Broker. But yeah, there we go, let's log off. And uh, that's it for this episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And uh, when we get back, we're going to have another mission. I think we're going to do the continuation of the Firefighters mission. So uh, see you guys next time. Goodbye.